everyone, my name is Muhammad Raila Sadila from SMP IT Albani Banjar Baru. So, today I will give you guys a story from Lembong, Bengkulu called The Legend of the Seven-Headed Snake. So, let's get started. Once upon a time, the people of Kutai Hukam Kingdom in Lembong Bengkulu were happy. The prince Gajah Meram would marry a woman from Sukanagri Kingdom. King Bikaubermano asked his people to prepare a fantastic party. One of the procession of the wedding was the female bride and the groom had to take a bath in the test lake. When they were swimming, Suddenly, the prince and the princess disappeared. The army immediately jumped into the lake, but they could not find them. Knowing that thing, the king was really sad. He asked all of his army to swim. But still, the prince and the princess couldn't be found. Are you guys wondering what happened to them? So, let's find out. Lately, a holy old man came to meet the king. He said that the prince and the princess were kidnapped by the seven-headed snake. He is the king of snakes and he said that he had so many snake soldiers. The only thing that could help was a young man that had great skills in martial arts and supernatural powers. The young man he was referring to was the king's youngest son. His name was Prince Gajah Mri. He was also the student of the holy old man. The king was really touched when Prince Gajah Mri is willing to find his brother and his brother's wife. The holy old man told Prince Gajah Mri to not be afraid to the serpent race. Then Gajah Mri entered the lake and found the snake army bravely. Gajah Mri was so strong that the snake army couldn't fight against him. He could defeat the snake army so easily. And then he is finally face to face with the snake king. He is the seven-headed snake. The snake king was really angry knowing many of his army were dead in the hands of Gajah Mri. Hey you human, why did you kill all of my army? They are trying to stop me. I want to free my brother and his wife. Okay, but you have to do two things. First, make my dead soldiers came back to life again. And second, you have to beat me, of course. <laughs> With its power, Gajah Mri touched the dead snake. Amazingly, they came back to life again. Then, Gajah Mri and the snake king got into a fight. Unlike the snake soldiers, the snake king was really powerful. He almost killed Gajah Mri. But fortunately, Gajah Mri had a better magic. And after fighting for seven days, finally, Gajah Mri won the battle. The snake king asked him to forgive him and set him free. Gajah Mri felt sorry and he let the snake king and his army go. Then he brought Gajah Ram and his wife back to the kingdom. The king was really happy. He was also planning to make Gajah Ram to be the next king, but Gajah Ram refused it. He said that Gajah Mri is better to be the next king because he was very brave and powerful. He was willing to sacrifice himself. Gajah Mri 
accepted, but he asked his father to let the king of snakes and his army to become Gajah Merik's army. The king allowed it. Since that, the king of snakes and his army became Gajah Merik's army. Until now, people in Lebong, Bengkulu, believe that there is a seven-headed snake guarding the test lake. They do not dare to say bad words when passing the lake. Otherwise, the snake king will be angry and can cause an unwanted incident. Okay guys, that is my story. Thank you guys for watching and listening. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.